I have a bunch of ESP32 dev kit modules, the 30 pin ones. So I use these in all kinds of Wi-Fi things and they can behave differently. Some of them I can put Wi-Fi code in and it joins my router no problem. Other times with a different module, it may take longer or it may never join at all apparently unless maybe I'm a foot away. So it's like the antenna performance varies per module. And that could make sense because the ESP module itself with its PCB printed antenna is directly mounted on top of another PCB. So even though they do seem to have a copper keep out on this board, it's still a bunch of material directly against the antenna and that can detune it. But I've been researching this and I have found one thread that talks about a bunch of people having this same problem. I've noticed sometimes if I'm not powering by USB, instead if I provide my own 5 volts directly on the VIN pin, it may connect to Wi-Fi better. But the past couple of days that has not worked. So when I went looking on forums, it was pointed out that modules with the CH340 USB chip on these low-cost modules you can get from AliExpress like I did, they have these wired up so that it's actually running the USB interface at 5 volts instead of 3.3. The ESP32 is a 3.3 volt module and the I.O. operate at 3.3, so the USB interface should have its TX and RX at 3.3, but here they're at 5. So if I check the voltage on RX0, the receive pin on this module that's powered, it's being pulled up by the USB chip to 4.85 volts instead of running at 3.3. And I believe there's a 1K resistor in series between the USB chip and the TXRX pins so that other GPIO signals can be used on the chip and not interfere. So that can provide some current limiting, but either way, these pins should be running at 3.3. So the thread I found talks about a rework. The power pin for the USB chip is pin 16, which is connected to 5 volts. So the rework suggests lifting pin 16 away from 5 volts on the board so it's up in the air, then solder a wire to it and bring it over to the center pin on this 3.3 volt regulator, so that's the 3.3 volt out, to power the USB chip and let it run at 3.3. Then it will have 3.3 on the receive pin. And also pin 4 on here is a 3.3 volt related pin as well. That needs to go to this 3.3 output on the regulator. So both pins 4 and 16 need to connect over to the center 3.3 volt out on the regulator to get this properly at 3.3. So for pin 4, it has a decoupling capacitor to ground next to it. So that's an easy place to solder a wire to. So I used one prong on a pair of tweezers to reach in beside pin 16 so I can apply a little pressure as I heat it with the soldering iron to lift it up. Then I put solder on the pin, clean the solder off of the pad. Then I added extra solder on this 3.3 volt regulator pin, as well as that capacitor to pin 4. And I took a couple of pieces of 30 gauge solid wire and made connections from those two areas on the chip over to the 3.3 volt regulator. So here's the result of one of the boards being reworked. So VCC pin 16 is lifted, a wire is tacked on, going over to the 3.3 volt regulator out, also from 3.3 out, going to the capacitor that goes to pin 4 for the 3.3 volt connection as well on here. And when I plug this in, of course, if I check the receive pin, now it's 3.3 volts instead of close to 5. And of course, the USB chip is running at 3.3 volts. So this is the way the board should be configured. I'm going to do them all anyway. But as for the Wi-Fi performance, I got mixed results. I did another board as well. So in order to check these modules, before I did the rework, I set them up with one of the example sketches in the Arduino IDE for the ESP32 Wi-Fi scan. 
which looks for all nearby networks and gives a report of RSSI for the received signal strength. One of these modules didn't even find any networks around. There's normally around 10 networks visible here. So that's how poorly the antenna was responding. After I did the rework and I ran Wi-Fi scan again, it was still a weak signal. It was like minus 80 something, but at least it found my network. And when I then flashed it with the regular Wi-Fi code I was trying to run, it joined my router, but I do know it's still not the best performance. But the weird thing was the second module, when I ran Wi-Fi scan before the rework and it was having trouble connecting to Wi-Fi, the RSSI was minus 60 something. So it should have been able to connect and it could see a whole bunch of networks. I don't know why it wouldn't connect. After the rework, I basically had the same signal strength. It was still minus 60 something and it still wouldn't connect. So I don't know the difference why one of them started working better, but either way, I'm just going to do this rework and I should check any other modules that use CH340 on a 3.3 volt device. Make sure it's not trying to drive it at five volts just to set these up for best practice usage. There's, so there's still a bit of a mystery as to why some modules are way better than others, but at least I learned something new today.